So far, we have looked at framing in the context of a debate, a dialogue between opponents, but it can play an equally important role in a monologue. The next two episodes focus on the speeches of Barack Obama. Whatever your opinion of his performance as President of the United States, it's impossible to deny that his speeches have inspired and empowered millions of people. What are the secrets of Obama's powerful speeches when examined from the perspective of framing? In order to answer this question, we will analyze several of Obama's key speeches. We will use these to identify the underlying narrative of Obama's speeches. Some of the following videos also include clips from other speeches. What are the key characteristics of an Obama speech? We have identified the following seven frames. Obama's speeches often focus on a particular tension or divide. For example, between black and white America, between religious and secular America, or between the West and the Muslim world. According to Obama, many people seek to manipulate or exploit these tensions. At times that anger is exploited by politicians to gin up votes along racial lines or to make up for a politician's own failings. Conservative leaders have been all too happy to exploit this gap, consistently reminding evangelical Christians that Democrats disrespect their values and dislike their church. Violent extremists have exploited these tensions in a small but potent minority of Muslims. While politicians use the issue to scare people and whip up votes at election time. In many cases, Obama actually embodies these divides himself. He belongs, or at least has a connection to both sides, black and white America, religious and secular America, Muslims and Christians, Americans and Africans, Americans and immigrants. I'm the son of a black man from Kenya and a white woman from Kansas. I'm a Christian, but my father came from a Kenyan family that includes generations of Muslims. Some of you know my grandfather was a cook for the British in Kenya. And though he was a respected elder in his village, his employers called him boy for much of his life. My father grew up herding goats in a tiny village, an impossible distance away from the American universities where he would come to get an education. Millions of us, myself included, go back generations in this country with ancestors who put in the painstaking work to become citizens. You know, I was not raised in a particularly religious household, as undoubtedly many in the audience were. The first frame identifies a divide. The second frame suggests that Obama embodies the divide. What effect does this have? A person who claims to have a foot in both worlds is regarded as being able to transcend the divide. 